So. Ah! Especially for this season short. Oh, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here with the Kings. Yeah. Daily ritual, taking the dog. Come on, go. Taking the dog out to be Do his business. So today, we definitely, well, I definitely want to see Bob Frankenstein. Because right now, it's starting to look like it's not meant to be. Try and let the wind blow first. Okay, Mother Nature. Rude. Anyways, I was saying, I feel like it's just not meant to be with the. Okay, we're going inside. Come on. Anyway, like I said, it's looking like it wasn't meant to be for this like friend and son. I tried to see it like four or five times now. I think today is going to be that day. Good morning. Josh went and got us Taco Cabana, mm -mm. and he he got um he got more soap papillas, and this time I'm gonna share. The last time I did not share. <laughs> so we got a bean and cheese taco, and a crispy taco, and soap papillas, soap papillas, mm -hmm. and that's how we're doing breakfast this Sunday morning in the King home. Editing the video, almost done. And then we shall start the festivities of the day. The time has finally come for me to see I Frankenstein. Emma was planning on coming, well she wanted to go, but she's editing the video from yesterday's. She said, go, be yourself. Watch this movie that will bring you great joy. So, I'm off to go check it out. I was thinking that when I go there, you know, of course you gotta get your favorite movie snack. And mine is Twizzlers. I cannot have the full movie experience without enjoying me some Twizzlers. Because I love Twizzlers, Emma doesn't. That was almost a deal breaker, seriously. <laughs> no, but uh, her favorite is uh, popcorn, so no matter that I just ate two minutes ago some sopapillas and steak fajillas, which is delicious and I'm completely full, I must have Twizzlers. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Joshua King's Movie Review. Today I will be speaking with you guys about I Frankenstein. <laughs> What a trip. So, <laughs> I, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that character. Should I try as long as I can with that? Just talk about it. Yeah. Ah, that's my pipe. No, but um, I really liked it. Like I was saying, uh, if you like uh, if you like the Underworld series and different movies with just action and special effects and everything, you really enjoy this one. It was funny because the same director was the same guy who uh, directed the Underworld series. From my standpoint, I thought it was awesome. From a critic standpoint, I have to say, if you've seen Underworld, then you've seen this movie. Mm -hmm. Fanboy Josh gives it four crowns out of five. Critic will probably give it like <laughs> two and seven, two and three fourths <laughs> of crowns. That's what critics probably get it. Would cool. I watch it if it came on TV? Yeah. Bet I will. Yes, because you still watch the Underworld movies, even though we've seen them like a hundred times. That's the only reason I've seen them, is because they come on TV all the time, and Josh still watches them every time they come on. That's like the movie The Departed, and what's that other one? A uh, few good, not a few good men, uh, The Good Guys? No. Goodfellas? Goodfellas, mm, right? Yeah. Those two movies come on all the time on TV, and I went from like never seeing them to seeing them like seven 10, 12, I don't know, I lost count. And Josh will just sit there and watch him like he's never seen him. He's like, oh, it's on again. Like, Josh, we already saw this yesterday. I can almost quote the movie. Excuse me if I like good cinema. <laughs> you turn it to it and then you get sucked in and then you don't turn it from there. I know, because I sit there like, oh, this on again. <laughs> exactly. 
So this has been a movie reviewed by Joshua King. I Frankenstein. You guys come back. Josh likes to go to the movies by himself, so he went to go see that movie all by himself. Don't judge me. <laughs> and I was just telling him, it was so cute. I can just picture him, like, going up to the counter, like, one ticket, please. <laughs> and then, like, can I please have some Twizzlers? And then, like, sitting down in his chair all alone and, like, <laughs> so excited. One ticket, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine him doing that. First of all, I don't wear glasses. And if I, I know, did, imagine if I did, I would go like this. That's a difference. So I'm going to make some popcorn. And this is the only popcorn that I like. Like the kernel popcorn. Where you make it in the pan with oil over the stove and you pop kernels. I'm going to pop some corn. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, right, Emma? I knew where you were going with that one. <laughs> oh, I saw it a mile away. I'm gonna pop some corn. Only like kernels in my bucket. Indeed. It's good, huh? It's gonna start popping. I have been making this popcorn since I think I was like 11. I think. It's been... I don't know. I've just been doing this forever because this is the only popcorn that I like. Mm, there we go. Hot, hot and fresh. Munching away on this popcorn. It's almost gone. And look at Josh YouTubing. Being so huh? cute. I do what I do. I get when I'm gone. Responding to comments. Mm -hmm. Cute. Saying what's up to everybody. Yeah, Sunday afternoon popcorn, YouTube comments. Mm. <laughs> I'm welcoming you all to the kingdom. <laughs> now know that we may face many battles together, but I believe in each and every one of you. I was uh, laughing at Joanne Lundy's comment saying that about her husband not having any game. <laughs> I was just replying saying, oh, trust me, we have game. <laughs> it just involves... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a horrible time uh, to start choking. Geez. We have game. I'm so swap. <laughs> oh, girl, hold on. Let me. <laughs> Where are you going? Let me holler at you for a second. Let me holler. <laughs> that was such a horrible time to choke. I know. Jeez, that was bad. Um. <laughs> you sound you funny. <laughs> you said this is this is not working out for me right now. <laughs> oh my god, you said it's so funny! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. You leave me alone. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh my stomach. I'm <laughs> gonna throw up. I was looking at Jan B, so she said, uh, <laughs> where was it? That you just called forth every elephant on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> And she said she has no clue what song I was singing. You know what song I was singing, Jenny. Exactly. You just sitting there know. joking around. You now know, you know how about. I feel. Now y'all all know how I feel because Josh will just be like, like he's trying to sing a song and I don't know what he's saying. And then he's like, you know that song? Getting all mad at me because I don't know what the song is. <clears throat> all right, maybe eating popcorn and talking at the same time is not working out for me. Yeah, I know that song. But we heard your comments. You we asked. heard you. You asked. Our viewers ask, therefore only a gracious king will provide. And we, yes, what Josh said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just want to tell you that our little story behind the look that was in that video. Um, mm -hmm. And if you haven't watched the video, go watch it. It will be linked below. It was one of those nights that were going out just like the night that our viewers have already seen. Going out by that uh, with some friends, have a good time. I still, I don't even remember the club. I think we went downtown. You went to Austin did and we? did not tell me. No, that's what it was. I did tell you. No. So this is the true story. How it happened <laughs> is I told my, I uh, told her that my friends got. Was this the time where they got the party bus? Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, so they got a party bus to go to Austin from San Antonio. Now, San Antonio to Austin is about 45 minutes, but on a bus it takes probably like an hour or so. We partake in the night's festivities. Nothing crazy happens there until one of my friends, closer to the end of the night, is pretty much gone, wasted, like point of... We should probably take him to the hospital. You know, everyone's really tipsy and having a good time and they don't really care about him. And I'm the only one that's like, whoa, this guy might not make it. So we get off the bus and then we get back to one of my friend's house and he's sitting there and he's like throwing up and everything. And I'm like, yo, like, just keeping an eye on him and why everybody else is still keeping the party going on 100 miles an hour and everything. And I found myself as that one voice of reason. I stayed with him and then uh, I was just making sure that he's going to be alive the next morning. And, and this is definitely my fault and we've apolo I've apologized. Because I did not let him know what happened. I didn't get home until about 10 o'clock the next day after she called and texted me and kept trying to get a hold of me. And yeah, so... So the real story now. So Josh didn't tell me that he was going on a party bus. I don't care what he says. I, I know he I did. did not. He told I me he know. was going out, and I'm okay with that. As you saw, I'm okay with him going out. So I was like, sure, fine. But I didn't even ask where he was going because I don't know. I usually don't. I don't. See, I don't know. It's not. Um, this is where it differs because I remember specifically. Josh, you did not tell me. And if you did tell me, then I didn't remember. But I know you didn't tell me. No, because I was like, this is a pretty big deal. Like yes. a party bus to Austin. Well, you I know also, I asked you. You also didn't come home. So that's also a pretty big deal. You didn't do that either. So you did not tell me that you were going to Austin. I know he didn't tell me. I just, I knew he was going out, but I didn't know he was going to Austin on a party bus. So anyway, I wake up, or you know, I'm used to going to bed and then waking up, or going to bed and then Josh coming home, you know, a little bit later. So I go to sleep and then I wake up and I like feel, I'm like, like feeling for Josh and he's still not there. I'm like, oh man, what time is it? It must be like two or three in the morning. And I check my phone and it is 7.30 in the morning. The sun is out and I was so... You don't even understand like how... Because you know you're mad but you're also scared and everything. Like all the emotions like hit me because I didn't know what happened. And then I checked my phone to see if he had texted me like, oh, we're, you know, I stayed the night or I just whatever. Nothing. No text, no call, no nothing. So I got so scared because that is not Josh. That's not, you know, something that he would normally or typically do. So I was like, oh my goodness, he's in a ditch somewhere or something. And I was so mad. I was so scared too. And no, that, and like I said. I'm and why sorry. didn't you text me again? What was your reason? I just wasn't on there. I. I, I don't know as well. Ah, it was so long ago, I don't remember now. I was going to say, have you ever seen that Kevin Hart where he said, you remember where a dude just gives a dumb answer? Yeah. Yes. His stance is like, oh, you know, I thought it was cool. Well, oh. <laughs> That's your answer? That was his answer? I, 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 I thought, oh. I knew I messed up and I was, you know, upset at myself that I let it get that far. Like, to not text her or to remember to do that, you know? Yes. Um, it was bad i was like because he told me oh well you know pretty much my friend would have died if i wouldn't have stayed there and i was like i don't care <laughs> that's what i said i was like i don't care <laughs> and I, of course i didn't mean that but i was just like josh i don't like i'm not this crazy psycho wife that like needs to know where you are i'm like but it was common courtesy that you should have just texted me like my friend is wasted and I'm the only one taking care of him so I'm not going to come home. I'm going to spend the night and make sure he's okay. I probably wouldn't have liked it but at least I would have known where he was. But the fact, I just felt like he chose his friends and that partying and stuff over his wife. Sleeping at home, alone, all by myself. Like, and it takes five seconds to send a text and not, and at least to put my mind at ease. I said I was wrong. The other reason that I was so upset is because if you know Josh, he is like the biggest worrier ever. Like I used to have my job and then from my job I would come home for a little bit and then I would go to class, my night class. Well one day I had to stay late so I, I just went straight from work to school and my phone died so I couldn't text him 
Oh my goodness, he messaged my boss on Facebook <laughs> and said, do you know where Emma is? And she was like, yeah, she just left. She but you it all in the dumb voice. How it should have been like, <laughs> did you know? Where Emma is. Do you know where Emma is? <laughs> I was getting so mad that I had the same concern. You know, I'm like, Josh, if you were in my shoes, oh my gosh, there would be like a search warrant for my life. If I didn't come home and did not text you, there would have been cops all at the house and everybody would have been a suspect. <laughs> you know, guys, when there's this that thing where it's like, yes, I messed up. I did something dumb. What more can I say? I don't know if it's just you or if it's a woman thing, but when a guy just says, okay, I'm sorry, I messed up. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and this is the reason why I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't let me get on the other reason because the blah, 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 blah. I wasn't done expressing my feelings. Exactly. I'm like, I'm, I understand. If I was in your shoes, exactly, it would have been ride or die. People, bodies would have hit the floor because I would have been all over the place. Yes, I understand. This is why I'm sorry. I express you are completely right in this situation. Blah, 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 let me tell you something. No, no, I'm not done. I want to blah, blah, let you know how much I'm upset I am. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I told you about the bus. You didn't. I did because this is how the night went. Hey, Emma, my friends are going on a party bus to Austin. Do you want to go? And she's like, why would I want to go on a party bus with you? I remember this conversation. No, it was, hey, Emma, one of my friends is having a going away party. Do you want to go? Nope, that's not even true because it wasn't even a going away. Yes, it was. Or like a celebration for something. It was a celebration for his promotion. A yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, see, it was that then. It was, hey, Emma, you want to go? One of my friends is celebrating a promotion. Do you want to go to the club? Are you having a party? I did. Yeah, you did not. My thing is, why would I hide that? I'm not saying you were hiding it. You just forgot to tell me. That's what I'm saying. But then that's such a big key. Like, uh, hey, yeah, we're going to that's Austin. That's why I was so upset. Because when I finally saw that picture on Facebook and I was like, he's on a party bus in Austin. I thought he was at a club here in San Antonio. I know I told I know. You did never, not tell me. He did not tell me. You be the judge. He did not tell me. That's what happened. So that's why when I say be good, and he went, and he smiled, and I was like, I gave him a look, too, because you're like, I'm always good. And I'm like, mm -hmm, remember that time? Mind you guys that we've been married for two and a half years or something. This only happened twice. Yeah, so. yes, of course. There's, this is not, Josh is not some guy that's like, oh, at a strip club smacking girls' butts and stuff. Like, that's not Josh. And I've never, I don't ever worry or ever feel like he's that type of guy. He's a good husband and a good person. This just happened to be one of those things that everybody messes up and everybody makes mistakes. And yes, this was, even a king. This was one of them. Oh, <laughs> and the queen was pissed, let me tell you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, anyways, that's our story. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the story behind the look. <laughs> so now you know. Now you know just a little bit more about us. The end. The end. Yay. You know what, Josh? I was like, why does my sweater smell like butt? Because <laughs> you were sitting on it. I don't know what you're talking I'm like, about. why do I smell butt? <laughs> <laughs> and it's because you were sitting on I'm it. I'm going to smell that sex booty then. <laughs> Sunday, fun day, Sunday, fun day, Sunday, fun day. Woo! Where you going, boy? We're at Dairy Queen waiting for our ice cream. What is that? Uh, 24? 24? Yeah. Oh, look who knows their <laughs> Spanish. Yeah. Mm. Not this girl, that guy. <laughs> Thank you. Dairy mm. Queen. I got. Uh oh. What? Oh, <gasps> Popo, what happened? Uh oh, stop. Popo po po here. Uh oh, someone called the cops on that guy. I know. Can y'all see him right there? What time is it, Josh? Dead time! <laughs> Walking Dead's on. No. That's the vlog for today, and um, we do want to give some shout outs, so we're here to give some shout outs. Aye, it is time. 
Welcome to I don't know how to say your name, Byraker or Byraker. Byraker. Byraker on Instagram. Instagram. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Ariana Gutierrez. It's nice to see you again. Here. Not again. <laughs> I never seen you before. <laughs> and M Samira 5. Not from four. YouTube. From YouTube, not four or three. But welcome, fellow subscribers. This is the kingdom. You are very well to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you are very well to be here. <laughs> now, grab your weapons for we have battle in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for um, liking and sharing our stuff. So um, if you would like a shout out, just let us know and um, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. And that you can find that information down below. Um, but yeah, just talk to us on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. Leave us comments. So we talk back. <laughs> I'm not shy. Thank you so much, and um, we look forward to more of y'all <laughs> asking for shoutouts. That'll be so awesome. So again, thank you. Welcome to the kingdom. <laughs> and may all of your battles fare true. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Bye. Bye! I have okay, no idea what's going on. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Okay, this is how this game goes. <coughs> We're recording it, Shirty. Shirty. Right now? Yeah. We're gonna say that right now? Yeah, I'm telling you. She's gonna be <laughs> well, because she's all. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we tell her, she's recording. <laughs>